This Champions League season seems like the most competitive it has been in a long time. With giants like Real Madrid, Manchester City, PSG, and Bayern Munich and the underdogs like Borussia Dortmund, Atletico Madrid, FC Arsenal and FC Barcelona, it seems like everyone has a chance to fight for the final in the Wembley and even for the trophy. Also, the Champions League draw gave us the best chances to see an underdog in the final, with Real, Man City, Arsenal and Bayern fighting for one place in the final and Barca, Dortmund, PSG and Atletico fighting for the other place in the final. And even the draw for the quarterfinals looks juicy, with Arsenal wanting to get revenge on Bayern, PSG wanting to get revenge on Barca, with best game of all, Real against City and the two big underdogs, Dortmund and Atletico going head-to-head, -head, we will have some interesting games to watch. But will one of the big four win the title, or will we see another big underdog story in the Champions League? Let us look at the teams. With Borussia Dortmund, we have the smallest club in terms of success, but one of the biggest in terms of popularity. The last time Dortmund reached the final was in 2013, where they lost against Bayern Munich, also in the Wembley Stadium. Right now, they are sitting in fourth in the Bundesliga, with a big margin to third place Stuttgart and a 20 points gap to the leader Bayer Leverkusen. With coach Eden Terzic, they are having a roller coaster of a season. On one side, they have only four losses in the league, but on the other side, they lost against Stuttgart in the DFB Pokal round of 16 where they played one of the most dreadful games in recent years. But in the Champions League, they seem to perform really well. Finishing first in the group of death, in front of PSG, AC Milan and Newcastle, and beating PSV in the round of 16, who are still unbeaten in Eredivisie, they show that in big games, they are ready to perform. But still, Dortmund will need a miracle to win their first Champions League title since 1997. Their opponents at Letico Madrid, with coach Diego Simeone, are also keen to reach the first final since 2016. Their last duel against Borussia Dortmund was in 2018, where they met in the group stages. They lost in the first game 4-0 and won in the second one with 2-0, so it is safe to say that we will have an equal matchup. Right now, Atletico sits fifth in La Liga, one point behind Athletic Bilbao. Against them, they also lost in the Copa del Rey semi-final with 1-0, but in the Champions League, they seem to perform extremely well, finishing first in the group, in front of Lazio, Feyenoord, and Celtic. In the round of 16, they defeated reigning Serie A champion Inter Milan, who were in the Champions League final last year. Atletico probably has a slightly better chance to get further into the competition. Manchester City is the favorite for the title. Pep's team sits currently in third position in the Premier League, just one point behind Arsenal and Liverpool. I made a video about the title fight in the Premier League this season and why it is the best one for a long time. Go check that one out to see why. Back to Man City. They already won the Champions League last season and they will try to continue their success streak. With 18 points in the group stages, finishing in front of RB Leipzig, Young Boys Bern and Red Star Belgrade and winning in the round of 16 against FC Copenhagen, they have enough self-confidence to go straight into the final. But with Real Madrid, they have the strongest opponent they could have faced in the competition. Ancelotti's men is currently leading the La Liga table with eight points in front of Barcelona. Last season, the duel against Man City in the semi-finals went really badly, losing 5-1 on aggregate, with a 4-0 home win for Man City. But this season, Man City will have a lot more troubles to beat this Real Madrid team. They won all six games in the group stages against SSC Napoli, Sporting Braga and Union Berlin and won a really close round of 16 against RB Leipzig with 2-1 on aggregate. This tells us that if needed, they can and will perform on the highest level and with the perfect motivational coach Carlo Ancelotti on the sidelines, they will try everything to get the next Champions League title. But with either Bayern Munich or Arsenal as their semi-final opponent, they need to improve because both teams are on an upward spiral. And currently, Arsenal are the team to beat for Bayern. In the past, these matches were really one-sided, with Bayern winning all of the last three games 5-1. But this time, with Arteta's men standing in first place in the Premier League and being first in the group stages against the likes of PSV Eindhoven, RC Lenz and FC Sevilla, they are keen to show better results than in the past years. The game against FC Porto in the round 16 was still really close, where Arsenal just went through in the penalty shootout, 
which shows that they are still vulnerable, but they keep fighting until the very end. But with Bayern Munich, they meet a team whose only goal is to not go trophyless out of the season. Turrell's team sits currently second in the Bundesliga, a whopping 10 points behind Bayer Leverkusen, who are still unbeaten to this day. And with the Bundesliga nearly done, in the DFB Pokal loss against FC Saarbrücken, a third-tier club in Germany, the last possible trophy to win is the Champions League. Bayern went through the group stages unbeaten, with only one draw against Copenhagen, but in the round of 16, they had a few problems. In the first leg against Lazio Rome, they lost deserved with 1-0, but they turned it around in the second leg with a 3-0 win. This time, Bayern will need to put much more work into the games against Arsenal, but at the end, I think it will be enough to get into the semi-final. It will be close, but Bayern has the maturity to beat Arsenal, who will probably focus more on the Premier League title anyway. Let's look at the last quarter-final match with Paris Saint-Germain against FC Barcelona. We cannot forget the unbelievable comeback from Barca in 2017, who lost 4-0 in Paris just for them to come back in the Camp Nou with a 6-1 win and a 6-5 win on aggregate. With Xavi's men, we have the third La Liga club in the competition. Barca also finished first in the group stages, level on points with FC Porto. In the round of 16, they kicked out SSC Napoli 4-2 on aggregate. In La Liga, Barca sits second, eight points behind Real Madrid, which means that the only realistic title win this year is the Champions League and with Xavi last year at the club, they will try to end their relationship as good as possible. With PSG, we have only one club from France still competing for the title. PSG is also first in the Liga, 12 points in front of second place Stade Brest. Enrique's team is also the only club still left, who only finished second in their group, one point behind Borussia Dortmund, which they could face again in the semi-finals. Luis Enrique's first year at the club seems to run pretty smoothly with some ups and downs here and there, but still nothing outstanding. But they still hammered Real Sociedad in the round of 16 with 4-1 on aggregate. PSG is, compared to past years, running under the radar and is not really a favorite for the title. In the end, I think the pressure on Barca is too high and PSG will slip through into the semi-finals. But what do you think? Who has the best chances to win the Champions League this year? Will it be another big underdog story, or will one of the big four clubs win the title? Let me know in the comments below, and I will see you in the next one.